that now up better. I can have a captain. I help my people to get shelter. I do business, business. Look at me, stay out my business. I'm so iceberg slim and stainless. It's not a blemish. I should have been to prison. Don't pour remorse. Right. I got the road to flood. Soaking with the ain't with swimming. I'm the man now. Ain't I, ain't I, ain't I, ain't I, ain't I, ain't I work with plan now. Can I, can I, can I, can I, I remember when you lame player. Hated a player, player. Now the same lame player. They call them player, male. What the, what you talking about? Talk, trying to talk, talk, start yeah. a two cycle diesel engine. That means that this diesel engine can run in two Tonight. It's the National Football League. Super Bowl 57. Football League on EA Sports. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here. As it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, for these Kansas City Chiefs, they, of course, were Super Bowl champions three years ago. The win over the Niners in Miami. They fell to the Bucks in Tampa a couple years back. They had the blown lead in the AFC title game against Cincinnati last year, and now they're back making their third trip to the big game in four years. And their recent history only increases the urgency to try and win another Super Bowl title with this group. Meanwhile, it took until Super Bowl 52 for the Eagles to lift the Lombardi Trophy for the first time, and not too many players are left from that squad five years ago. But this new group is looking to write a new chapter of Eagles lore. Yeah, we certainly all remember that performance in the win over New England. Nick Foles throwing for 373 yards, catching the Philly special that will go down as one of the most iconic play calls in Super Bowl history. Now they're back and looking to make it two titles in six years. talk is over we're set for the big one Super Bowl 57 away we go from Arizona and we will not have a return so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25 the KC offense set to go led as always by the gunslinger a former MVP in this league it's Patrick Mahomes you can't help but continue to marvel at how well this man's career has gone so far now in his fifth season as KC starter he's never missed a conference title game and he's taking the field in his third Super Bowl. Simply dominant, it's easy to envision him being one of the top quarterbacks for many years to come. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's... have drawn up here a little bit behind the line 12 yards needed to gain a first down 
Throwing is Mahomes on third. Oh, he's trying for Smith Schuster, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante. Touchdown. He takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. Flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught inside the 10. And he will step out of bounds. Oh, what a mistake there. And the two-point try will be unsuccessful. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you don't like that call on the opening drive of the game. It's a very strong limb that you're out on right now. <laughs> okay, hey, look. The game between college and the NFL continues to creep closer. But that is truly a college play, not an NFL play. Because you'd snap the ball from the three-yard line there, whether it's going for one or going for two. So it makes sense to try it that way to maybe fake it. In this case, from the 15, makes zero sense. And now your lead's just 6-0 instead of 7-0. Hardman will elect not to bring this out. And the football will be on the 25-yard line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and ten. Now Mahomes to try again after the pick six. Screenplay, McKinnon. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, Brandon, we can see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kaiser White. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. What a moment for him. A pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints' first title. Yeah, that one pretty much sealed the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately, I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and oh, there's a fake, and oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward, it's just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to a reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. He is off to an unfathomable start, throwing the football, throwing the two passes, both been intercepted and returned for touchdowns. We'll see how he bounces back. It's first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. 
One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Mahomes. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. A nightmare of a first half for him. And that's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. On first and ten, it hurts. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that will move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball, and if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen. To Touchdown, Eagles! Wes Watkins from 21 yards away. And the Eagles will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And they fake it. They pitch to the tight end. And that one goes virtually nowhere. Tried to fake extra point, but nothing comes of it. Well, I have to admit, I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. The Chiefs offense set to go. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And that is incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw and coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. Pulled in at the 24. 43 yards on the punt. Seven-yard return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. And the football changing hands here. And as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same. But the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. He was a 1,000-yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. But first down, Hurts. 
And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude, and you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles are starting to open things up here in this Super Bowl. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And the fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them. But it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk-reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. But I'll be darned. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And now here comes Kansas City. They've got to be absolutely reeling right now. Couldn't have expected to be down this big this early. But that's the spot they're in as they come up to try again here. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Nicole Hardman, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On They're your own side of the field. side of the field. But boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I like it. I'm feeling it. It's taken to the 26. One quarter done, three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. It's the Eagles with the early lead. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. Oh, this is taken in, it's complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Quez Watkins with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past over through guys in order to make these catches and being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game it's going to take a lot of effort so maybe it'll open things up for some other people well they better figure something out and soon and he's got it they add on more a little salt in the wound two-point conversion makes this lead even bigger so they elect to pass there on the two-point try sometimes can prove risky there it worked out yeah and i love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it that's two points for the defense but not on that play now 
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes there's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Now, that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five to throw. It's Mahomes flush to his right. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And this is caught at the 20. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. That goes for a gain of 31. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes on the slant. He's got Hardman. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal from the gun. They will run with McKinnon. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McKinnon, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs get a bit closer. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row and we're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. There's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they've broken it. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And the lead drops from 34 to 27. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. 
And out now come the Eagles. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hurt sets up to throw it. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Dallas Goddard, 68 yards. And the Eagles are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Hurts will throw. And this is going to be caught. Well, not sure about the need to go for two, but they get it and extend this lead out even further. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense. That's two points for them, but he identified an open target and put it right on him. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Takes it at the seven. Well, now how about this return? And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Casey's offense ready to take over. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Hands it off out of the gun. And they will bottle him up behind the line. And now will they use a timeout? Not at all what they envision on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. Well, I think it's back. To the drawing board, or should I say, in today's game, the surface tablet after this drive. Three plays. They go backwards. They will have liked to have gotten something going right there. But they'll have to pump the football away to end this one. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That's a 43-yard punt, aided as well by a loss on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining. And hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the line. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. So it's halftime here on Sports Grandest Stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment.
Thus far, this Super Bowl has looked less like a contest and more like a coronation. And to call the second half, let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl, taking it about the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hold on. So plenty can still happen. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing his hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That one good for 37 yards. You can feel the effort all the way up here. He tried his best to get there. Didn't quite make it, but down around the two, three yard line, got to love the effort, and especially the big play that gave his offense a great opportunity. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, on the other sideline right now, it's just absolute dejection. But, Charles, let's focus on the positive. With the lead that they've built here, they've done pretty much everything to perfection in this ball game. They certainly have. Makes me think that their week of preparation was excellent. And they flowed into this game, and it carried over. And right now, I don't expect them to back off at all. They're playing so well, they just want to keep it going. And a call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. They'll look to throw. To ah, the you goal bitch. line, but it's incomplete. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit, but going for two in this situation, somebody that likes someone else. There is no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you would. I mean, you, <laughs> That's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No. No, okay. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. <sighs> and now 
now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. A lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. Second down, McKinnon. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Mahomes going to throw. Dancing to his left, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Marcus Epps, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts.
possessions so crucial at this stage of the game. And when you've got an opportunity to hop on a turnover and you don't get it, uh, you can feel the frustration all the way up here. And the offense, they're living right right now. Another bounce and break that goes to the Across the 50 and into cheap territory. But a good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. throw is Mahomes. The catch is made by Hardman. And he has a being inside the 40 before being dropped. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. 
So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 33. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 84 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this Super Bowl. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And nobody leaked. Big play. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Well, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Well, at this juncture, CD, you normally see teams back in the passing game. They've got the huge lead. Not them, though. They're still taking their shots. I remember reading in past history, there was a college football coach in the Hall of Fame whose nickname was Close the Game. And they are going to score again. <laughs> Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. And boy, talk about adding insult to injury. He's into the end zone to tack on two more. But I guess when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, I would just go ahead and take the extra point and move on, but apparently they've got something to prove. Almost feels like something was said this week, and they wanted to make sure that they laid it on them in this game. Ooh. For the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now just three seconds before the two-minute warning, they're going to call a timeout here defensively. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw, and that is incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Mahomes now to throw. And now here is another interception. Darius Slay with a pick. And the <laughs> Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, partner, I, I got to 
tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. 96 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you always want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. The phone in there. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule, trying to get four downs on first down, they did that, plus three. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Looks like he'll throw here. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and three. Ball on the seven. Hurts a handoff to Sanders, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I, I just think they pretty much this is this ass. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, apparently back up uh, one more than the. Oof. See, I kicked their ass. <laughs> and now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Now a shotgun snap is still um, the throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of it. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Talk about two sides of the ball across purposes, because mercifully, this game's almost over for the offense, but the defense, they still want to get a few shots in. That front seven, yeah. they've loved this ball game. They've been able to pad their stats, and maybe some backups can get in and get a sack as well. Yeah, I know. I know. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes, it's Kelsey on the ground. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Super Bowl champs. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.
And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching.